What is going on, guys? It's Wednesday, and let me just pay more questions. Will NXL Europe and the NXL use the same ranking system? The best mask under $100 and the best carbon fiber barrel. Come across in cages they <laughs> Noah DeBoss asks, does NXL Europe use the same US ranking system? Yup, so NXL Europe are gonna use the same ranking and like point system uh, that we've been using here in the United States for a very long time. So it's gonna be the APPA system, uh, APA, paintball, I don't know what APPA stands for. So it's gonna be the APPA system, the same ranking system that like PSP and NXL have always used. Like most of the divisional series around the US, like there's European leagues that use it, PALS use it, pretty much everything uses APPA. And that's good news. We need really an international ranking system and APPA is gonna be the closest thing we have to that. Mainly because it's always just been kind of odd. Like if you were a pro player here in the US and then wanted to go play in Europe, you didn't have any ranking. You were like division five. You could play any division you wanted to and there was nothing stopping you. You could play whatever you wanted. So it just kind of makes it more fair how NXL Europe is not gonna have locked divisions. So you can go play any division you want. And when you actually go over there and play, you will have to play the correct division. We're not gonna have pro guys playing like division two and stuff. Uh, you have to play what your division is. How NXL Europe is gonna take care of that, I don't know. Are they just gonna take all the Millennium ranking and then move it to APPA? People are gonna start fresh. I don't know, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. But that's something they need to figure out. They can't just have everyone be division five and then just, oh, we're starting all over. People have to have some sort of rank. Lucas Vadis asks, I think that's how you pronounce that, sorry if not. What are some of the best masks under $100? So let's just name them. The V-Force Profiler, V-Force Grill, JT Pro Flex, JT Pro Shield, Empire E-Flex, and the Virtue Vio Ascend. So those are gonna be my top masks under hundred bucks. The main objective for you finding a mask is gonna be find one that's comfortable uh, and one that breathes the best. I think that finding function and like a mask that actually works well for you is gonna be more important uh, than like what looks cool and what cool colors you can get. There are a lot of choices. And I think the best value out of any mask at this point is probably gonna be that JT Pro Shield. Pro Shields are $47. The biggest drawback to the Pro Shield though is removing the lens is awful and a bad experience. It just takes forever and it's not quick and easy. Probably the next best value I would say is gonna be the V-Force Profiler, only at $65. So it's just a little bit more money than that Pro Shield. Lenses are substantially easier to remove. So it just makes it a little easier to clean and like change a lens. And then maybe my favorite is gonna be the Empire E-Flex. I'm kinda of like torn between that and the Profiler. E-Flex is gonna breathe maybe a tidbit better than that Profiler, still has quick and easy change lenses, and it's just a good mask, it's comfortable, and I like it. So those are gonna probably be my top six, uh, but go out and try them on. Go to a paintball store, put them on, uh, decide what you like. Fallon Ball asks, really wanting to get a carbon fiber barrel, which would you recommend? I think this depends on what you want. If you just want like the lightest barrel freaking possible, definitely the Deadly Wind Null Fiber. Those things are super light, uh, don't really have any crazy features. It's just like a one piece barrel, but it's gonna be extremely, extremely light. Yesterday I posted a video about the Lurker version four barrel. Uh, check out a review up there if you wanna watch that. But in that video I talked about how the Null Fiber barrel in 14 inches only weighs 50 grams. And then that Lurker version four barrel wears 95 grams and it's the lightest aluminum barrel. So that Deadly Wind barrel is like half the weight of the lightest aluminum barrel. So it's very, very light. So if you want the lightest weight possible, definitely Deadly Wind Null Fiber. And then I think there's two other things to kind of think about. Maybe if you want a barrel that takes inserts or if you don't want a barrel that takes inserts that's still carbon fiber-ish. If you like that insert idea, if you like having the versatility of inserts and kind of the affordability, I think, of having all those different sizes, maybe take a look at the Deadly Wind Fiber X barrel that you can get in like regular insert size or that new XL insert. And then GOG also make a carbon fiber insert barrel that you can get in the original insert size or the XL as well. They're very close in price. I personally, I think like the Deadly Wind ones a little bit better. I think that the quality is better on those barrels. And I like that matte finish where the GOG stuff's a little bit more gloss and like shiny. I prefer the matte finish of Deadly Wind. And they're a smaller company and I think you should support smaller companies. Actually, oh, speaking of which, that's an XL barrel kit right there. <laughs> and then if you don't really want those inserts but still want like sort a carbon fiber-ish barrel. There's the Planet Eclipse FL barrel. I say carbon fiber-ish because it's really just the barrel tip that's carbon fiber, but a majority of the barrel is actually carbon fiber. And then these like insert back piece things kind of like screw into the front and then it makes like 
I don't know, that normal 15 inch, 14 and a half inch barrel, but most of it's carbon fiber. So I don't know if I could say it's a carbon fiber barrel. Uh, it's more of a barrel with a carbon fiber front piece, but they're really good. I think out of all the barrels that take like carbon fiber stuff, it's gonna be my favorite. It is expensive though. And just one of those barrels, like tip and back is like 140 bucks. Or if you have an existing barrel, like you say you have a dye ultralight barrel, planet eclipse barrel, or like, I don't know, a Stella barrel from Inception Designs, Deadly Wind also make carbon fiber tips, so you could just get a carbon fiber tip for your barrel. Make it a little bit lighter, make it a little more fancy, uh, customize it, make it your own barrel. So maybe you don't have to buy a whole new barrel, maybe just get a carbon fiber tip for your existing barrel. As always, I'll link in the description to some of those barrels. If you have a paintball related question, just leave a comment below or use hashtag PBQT, wherever you want, I'll find it. And if I think your question is worthy of answering, like it's gonna help a lot of people, I will answer it on this Paintball Question Time show. To check out more Paintball Question Times, hit that big rectangular box, or to support the Paintball Room My Life channel, hit the Patreon button right there. That's all I got, guys.